Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, here to bring you another gun review, and today, talking some pistols, this one right here, which is the SIG P320 X5 Legion. If you're unaware, SIG makes a huge line of P320 series to include their full size, which is what this is, with a aftermarket barrel and pretty sweet Erector 9 silencer, but lots of different guns. So this being their P320 full size, this one right here being their X5 Legion, what are some of the differences? There are some pretty big differences between the X5 Legion and the P320 full size in its factory configuration, which this is not right now. But one of the biggest differences is actually gonna be barrel size. So while the X5 Legion has a five inch barrel, the 320 full size has a 4.7 inch barrel. And one of the cooler things, I think it's really cool, is they've managed to add weight to this. Now a lot of people are like, I don't want a heavier pistol, but this pistol probably isn't for you if that's the case. But through some pretty cool stuff, they managed to basically put powderized tungsten into the grip. So while this has a longer barrel than the full size P320, it also is heavier by about 14 ounces, almost a pound heavier, which is pretty significant, going from about 30 ounces to about 44 ounces. Pretty significant jump. Some other things going on with the X5 is these lightning cuts along here on the top. And in addition to that, basically this back plate, which has Dawson Precision adjustable sights, which is pretty handy. You have basically a blacked out kind of target sight on the back. And then up front, you have fiber optic, which is actually really nice. Picks up really easy. And because it's fiber optic, definitely smaller, like dimensionally width wise than like any of your tritium sights because it doesn't have to have a tritium vial shoved in there. So you have a thinner front sight, which gives you the ability, potential to actually basically refine that sight picture more than if you have a really fat front sight. And this plate right here can be removed from the underside, which allows you to go ahead and mount an optic such as this Romeo One Pro straight onto the slide of your Legion. Some other features that I think are pretty cool is the skeletonized flat face trigger. Depending on you and your shooting style, you can actually get feedback from this, i.e. if you are pressing the trigger back and you feel an edge, then you are probably putting too much pressure in that direction if you're feeling that edge. Otherwise, if you press straight back, then you don't necessarily feel either of these edges. Pretty handy kind of self-diagnosing. And being a Legion stays with their gray color scheme and comes with these 17 round magazines, as well as this incredibly generous Magwell flush fit right there. And yeah, overall, pretty rad little pistol. Having said all that, what has been my experience with the P320 X5? Yes, I said X5, not X5 Legion. Honestly, I don't think they even make the X5 anymore. I think they just make the Legion, but this was basically the predecessor to the X5 Legion competition pistol. So this one does not have the tungsten infused grip module. And if you're wondering, yes, there is no trigger package in this. More on that later. But I ended up taking this pistol down and competing with it in a two day competition in the tactical games and it did well for me. Over that course of two days, had a bunch of pistol courses of fire through there, and then past that, used it at range days and whatnot, but this thing did a great job for me down there. Of course, the Tactical Games does not want people competing with red dots on pistols. So I never had the opportunity to swap out basically that rear plate with that Dawson adjustable sight with an optic. Fast forward, ended up getting my hands on the X5 Legion. 
significantly heavier than the regular X5 or regular P320 full size for that matter. And I ended up having the opportunity to shoot this in a two day competition early 2020 for 2020 just imploded on itself down there at Desert Brutality. Uh, it was awesome. I basically shot this in the armored plus P division or just armored division, I guess it'd be. And yeah, well, you could basically run whatever guns you wanted. So I ended up shooting this pistol. And then for my primary, I think I had AR-10 by American Defense Manufacturing. But definitely game changing, being able to compete with optics. Hadn't really competed with optics up to that point. And this was a lot of fun to shoot in that competition. forward a number of months and I had another opportunity to put some significant rounds through this shooting this in a Rune Nation level 2 pistol course in which I yeah put a lot of rounds through this pistol again Thoughts on shooting these pistols over the course of competition as well as training? I like them. I think it's cool. One, you have a five inch barrel as opposed to a 4.7 with the full size. And in those competitions, as well as that training course, I was wearing an exposed holster. So having a longer barrel was not a detriment. I wasn't trying to appendix this thing with this incredibly generous magazine well or anything like that. I will say going between two different types of competitions as well in that both of the competitions I was running didn't necessarily favor like a heavy pistol. So 
If you're unfamiliar with the idea behind this pistol and the fact that it is tungsten and fused like this grip module is you want it heavier. So a lot of competition pistols are heavy, like look at bench rest or uh, like PRS guns or bench rest guns for that matter. Like they're heavy, they absorb recoil. And so to that end, a very talented shooter, not to be confused with myself, can basically just burn something down and this will stay a lot, it'll shoot a lot flatter ultimately because you have more mass and having more mass makes it more difficult for this thing to basically kick around. And so to that end, by when it comes to competition, people usually seek out heavier guns. A lot of competition guns are steel framed. They did something really neat with this gun, I think. I mean, the fact that they basically approached it from another angle and infused the grip module with powdered tungsten. I think that's pretty amazing. Having used this, there are some things I personally don't care for. Magazines are cool, like they are super clean looking. They got the Legion logo on there. It's like, oh man, boom, flush fit. That's cool, I guess. Again, depending on where you're coming from, school of thought. For me personally, it's become part of my routine with respect to actually gassing up a pistol is I'll go ahead, take this, insert it, make sure it's inserted. And because this is actually flush fit and you can't access the magazine from the sides, from the magwell or anything like that. Again, super competition driven. I'm coming at it from a different angle, but ideally I want to be able to grab my mag and one, make sure it's seated when I'm actually loading my pistol because super common failure, people not seating their magazines, rifles or pistols, giving it that good tug. And then on top of that, if for whatever reason the magazine gets stuck, gives me access to basically rip this thing out again competition pistol lightning cuts up on top there i get it but personal preference i like the ability to do that so usually i will use the magazines that came with this guy which are factory 21 round magazines so they stick out about that far allows me to go through kind of that manipulation as i just mentioned 21 round factory magazine those things are awesome but one of my very favorite things about the P320 X5 Legion to include the entire P320 series is like true modularity in the fact that with all of it, you have a serialized trigger package and basically lock your slide back. This lever right here. Boom, pull that guy off, set it down there for now and you can take your other pistol out right here again 17 round mag lock this guy back that lever right there hang on to that for later and slide this that lever back And now magic. So I have the script module with the slide on here, or conversely, I can obviously pull that slide off, throw this slide on here with an optic, or of course, grip modules themselves. I can actually pull the trigger package out, which is not super involved, and drop the trigger package into a different grip module something like the X carry or something along those lines. And now I have the exact same trigger that I train with for personal defense, plinking on the range, as well as competition, or for that matter, any other use, due to use, whatever it may be. You have one serialized trigger. You can move back and forth through a host of different grip modules to include the heavy one from the X5 Legion and a number of different slides. I think that's pretty amazing. And if you're wondering about that original P320 X5 trigger that I had mentioned, said we'd circle back to, dropped it in here. Again, talk about modularity. This actually went with me on my coast to coast tour, starting over in Oregon, making our way all the way to Florida and people that came out for that. 
had the opportunity to shoot this at those range days. Basically a B&T little chassis where you serialize, or I'm sorry, it's already serialized, but you actually register your trigger package as a short barreled rifle. And now you have a pretty sweet little short barreled rifle. People were shooting this thing well past their capability as far as being able to just like present a pistol and shoot. Like this makes shooting steel at hundred yards with nine mil really easy. I'm sure some of you guys are ninjas and you're like, that's already easy. It is easy for the layman as well, because now you literally have a rifle with a red dot on it. And again, going back to the idea of beyond just the X5, but actually the P320 series, like the ability to have that serialized trigger package and pretty much go from there. Sky's the limit. And to that end, with respect to the X5 Legion, I think it's pretty cool that, again, depending on where you want to get into it, you can end up picking up the X5 Legion and you have your competition pistol. And then after that, if you want, you can kind of branch out and end up picking up a grip module for concealed carry or something along those lines, as well as a slide for that matter, because you already have your serialized trigger package. Let's go ahead and talk accuracy for a minute, since X5 series, obviously geared towards competition, five inch barrel, all that. Usually when I shoot groups, usually it's like defensive pistols anyway, so basically those engagement distances, usually just shooting at like seven yards, like my KBAT, anatomy targets. But for this, I ended up shooting at 25 yards. And for this also, since I could, I went ahead and basically benched this thing off of a rest with this chassis, with this little stock, and saw what I could get at 25 yards. Why didn't I use the X5 Legion slide with the optic? Because I didn't have it that day. So I rolled with what I got. But shooting through these sights at 25 yards, here's what I got with a number of different loads. This is my first group, shooting some 147 grain subsonic loaded by G9 bullets. And my second group with that 147 grain subsonic. Right here is my first group using Sig Sauer's V-Crown jacketed hollow point, 124 grain. my second group with the SIG 124 grain V-Crown jacketed hollow points. Right here is my first group shooting the ASIM Precision 115 grain Barnes TAC XP hollow points, solid copper. My second group using that same ASIM Precision 115 grain Barnes solid copper hollow point. And here's my first group using the G9 external solid copper 124 grain hollow points. And finally, my last group shooting that same external hollow point by G9 bullets 124 grains. What are my thoughts on those groups? Well, first and foremost, let's appreciate my consistency on pretty much every single one of those groups I had one random flyer. Whatever, my bad. Here's where I'm at with pistols, or honestly, most guns. I've yet to run into a pistol that I can outshoot. Like mechanically, pretty much every pistol can outshoot me, except maybe a high point. Not totally sure, but this will absolutely outshoot me. I'm sure a better shooter behind this gun, whether it is in this chassis with a stock or just presenting it out, I'm sure a better shooter can get better groups. Overall, totally happy with those groups at 25 out of this pistol. One thing I will mention, it was an issue kind of when I first got these X5 pistols. I don't know if it still is much of an issue. Market probably caught up, but again, so it has a million SKUs and having just came out with this, 
longer overall pistol to include optic, light, all these different things. Took a while for holster manufacturers to catch up, but I was able to get this holster right here by Squared Away Customs and made it really nice and easy. I still had a retention, which if you're gonna get like a, like pretend, go run around the range and play holster with like zero retention, that's one thing. When you try and find something with active retention, that's another thing. And so was really stoked to actually get a hold of this holster by Squared Away Customs so that I could, especially in those competitions when you're doing a bunch of running, jumping, crawling, all those things, you don't end up losing your pistol as opposed to just standing on the line and drawing out. Big picture, what is my takeaway? What do I think about this pistol? One, I wish it came with 21 round magazines because I like them better. But honestly, I think it's a great pistol to the end of competition and also to the end of basically getting into the P320 series of pistols by SIG. So with this, you essentially have a turnkey competition pistol. I want to say the X5 Legion usually goes for about 900 bucks, somewhere in there. And you literally have a competition pistol. You have a heavier slide, or I'm sorry, a actually lightened slide, but you actually have a heavier like grip module, like heavier than any other polymer frame pistol. And on top of that, you have your five inch barrel, you have Dawson adjustable sights, which you can actually remove that whole plate, throw an optic on, depending on what type of competition you're shooting. Incredibly generous magazine well, and flat face trigger. And then the big thing with it too is you now have a serialized trigger package and it opens the door for pretty much any other type of pistol you would like to create around that one trigger. So to the end of competition, getting more and more reps, well, it's pretty cool if all your reps you got on a number of different pistols was with one trigger, like that same trigger press over and over, whether it was competition or concealed, any of that. And again, pretty much turnkey competition pistol. I think it's pretty cool. If you have any experience with one, Love to hear how it's been for you. And yeah, as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.